Let's make this tire filling bucket with water using bladder fluid simulation physics. First select the cube, go into edit mode, then press Z, Z1 to move it upward, press S to scale it like this. Now press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Next go to the object data properties, expand the viewport display and set the display as to wire. This will be our domain object. Press Shift A, add UV sphere, go into edit mode, scale it down and move it upward like this. Scale it again to make it smaller. Now add cylinder, press Z, Z1 to lift it and model it into a bowl shape like this. This will be our effector object. Go to the physics tab, click on fluid and change the type to effector. Now select the sphere, in the physics tab, enable fluid, set the type to flow, change the flow type to liquid and set the flow behavior to inflow. Enable initial velocity and set the z value to minus 2. Next select the cube, go to the physics tab and enable fluid, set the type to domain and change the domain type to liquid. Set the resolution division to 64 and under cache, set the end frame to 150. Change the cache type to modular and enable easy resumable. Also in the timeline, change the end frame to 150 to match. Now hit bake data, it may take a while depending on your system's performance. Once done, press spacebar to preview the simulation. As you can see, the liquid flows through the bowl, let's fix that. Select the bowl, go back to the physics tab, set the sampling to 10 and surface thickness to 0.5. Now select the domain object, click free data, then bake data again to update the simulation. Scroll down, expand the mesh section and click bake mesh. Next, go to the object data property, set the display as back to solid and then right click the sphere and choose shade smooth. Optionally, you can enable particle, go to the particle section, enable all three options and click big particles. Press spacebar again. Your simulation is now fully ready. Now in the final render, I have quickly modeled and set up the scene like this. The domain is placed and set the sphere right under the tap where we want the water to come out. Here are the effectors and domain settings. For the domain, I have increased the resolution to 128 and the rest of the settings remain mostly the same including the mesh and the particle section. In the cache, I have updated the end frame to 200 and also added a few cameras to capture the scene from different angles. Then use Ctrl B in the timeline to bind each camera camera where I want the perspective to change. In the render property, set the color management to AGX and use medium high contrast. For the world, here is the simple node setup I have used. Then I have applied the final material to all the objects in the scene. And that's it, your tap filling bucket with water using blender fluid simulation physics is ready to render. Follow Adobe for more.